Okay guys, so this is what's growing on my, my table. I am not done, I just leave it here because I don't want them to get a direct sun. Is my sunrise. This is my Hoya sunrise. Well, one of them. I have several inside. Gorgeous. And on top, I have these beautiful. Actually, the flower just fell. And this one is diptera. It is very, very long and always give me flowers, but I don't smell it. Maybe I just not really focusing and smelling it. But I normally smell something, but this one is like nothing. It's blunt. Next to it is my Hoya Lisa. See, that's my Lisa. And look how it turns orange on the other end. Beautiful. This is my Hoya Courtesy Eye. It is a full six inch pot. And right here is my Hoya ASBAFF Bartonet. And I tell you what guys, they are loaded. She's loaded with flowers everywhere. I can never, never, never see them not flowering. When they start, they just keep going as in a lot at least 20 or 30 blooms and on this side is my biggest Hoya courtesy eye they are in a six she's actually in a six inch pot too and they are growing nicely I believe this one is with me for two years and this is what it grows this is actually a younger one she's only with me for a few months right here is my memoria and i just noticed it has peduncle right here and a peduncle right here that i hope they're gonna produce flowers soon before it's getting too cold and look how gorgeous this baby right here and they grow really really long all the way all the way it's just gorgeous and this is a pentangensis and under here is my sebo blue philodendron i believe sebo blue and another one of my variegated dwarf jade okay guys on this side i have more of the night blooming series our queen of the night there's more on that side this is the white form on this side is also a white form but the flowers are smaller this is another one of queen of the night but this has the big flowers and i have few more queen of the nights right there but different varieties i don't know yet because i haven't seen their flowers and then this is my mother of thousands and i have another one right there I have on this side I have a lot of snake plants but first I have my donkey ears this is one of the mama if you can see it started to have babies I have another one right here and there are babies everywhere there you go those babies as I show you in a pot it came from this pot and there's more right there babies and these are some of my snake plants or Sansevieria. All right, there's some more right here, Sansevierias. And here's more, these are the dark ones. And I have these beautiful red bell. I don't know what you call these. I always call this red bell. I have a pink bell right here, but it doesn't have the flowers. And then, of course, I have this donkey tail or burro tails. I love those. On this side, I have this beautiful Asian orchid. Um, this is ground orchid. 
the whole year round i have this beautiful berries it start into a pink flowers and let me see if i can find you one like this start these into a pink they will open like so but they're gonna open more and then once this all open up they will start to get darker and form berries like this into a purplish purplish deep purplish berries and it will stay like that until they dry that uh, i don't think that's their seeds though they're gorgeous and let's see and i don't remember what's their name sometimes i remember sometimes i'll forget <laughs> and this time i totally forget and i can't find their labels i normally have their labels anyways and at the bottom i have all of these beautiful snake plants or sansevierias i have the bento sensation I have these dark ones that I totally, totally ignore. And look how bad they look like. It dries out. However, there's some new ones forming. So I think I have to clean them up to make them look beautiful again. I have all of these growing on my yard. But they are actually a volunteer. I don't know where that came from. A lot of Sansevieria. Sens um, sensational. Bento Sensational. Zeylanica, which is the regular green form of the snake plants. I have the Hana, which is the dark form. I have the whale fin right here that's been eaten or played with by my friend squirrel. <laughs> I have another one right there and look, they're forming babies. I got one right there and one on that side so baby is coming awesome awesome and this one is my sansevieria parva look how beautiful there's slender leaves are gorgeous and on this side i have another one of those hawaiian potos because they are big so they are hawaiian potos but if they're small like these they are golden potos and then on this side, I have more of my Syngonium, but this is the green form. I don't know where this came from. I think it came from my plant swap. I have another one of Sensational Bantle. Sensational. On this side, this is Syndapsis, and they are silver. I think it's silver Annie. I don't remember what it's called, but I think that's what it is. And here is my Tradescantia. And they are a different form of white and greens. But it started, you know, fall started. And they started to wilt. They are going to die and come back again next spring. I have my, my most favorite. This is my Monstera Deliciosa. I have my Pluminensis variegata right here. This is Stradescantia. This is my one of my cactus. It is a, I'm not sure if it's Thanksgiving cactus, but that's what they call, they flower beautiful purple. And some of mine is pink and white. I have under here is my green leaf, heart leaf philodendron. Right here is another one of green leaf philodendron. Right here is my other Tradescantia, and they call this teddy bear because it is very fuzzy, like hairy. <laughs> and this one is my starfish cactus. They produce this gorgeous, 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 gorgeous arms. And then if it has too much sun, it turns into brown like this. However, it's still good. See, it's hard. It's not dead. Thank God. <laughs> Thank goodness. All right. Let me take some of those leaves because you know they're under the tree. And look at these gorgeous. Few more days and they are going to pop open. 
see gorgeous huh that is beautiful and on the other side of it is my string of hearts gorgeous that is my string of hearts and if you notice it has flowers it has a very deep purple flowers it is gorgeous and then on this side is my carnosa there you go that's a green carnosa mixed with some princess hoya crimson princess because next to it is my crimson princess crimson princess that it has these some growing leaves all right let's take that one out <laughs> i'm sorry i have to clean it while i'm looking at it it's in our gorgeous queen um princess that is hoya crimson princess and next to it down right here next to it is my philodendron birkins i love how those variegation look at that look how those lines the white and the green it's just gorgeous and underneath here is my chinese money plant or peperomioids peperomia peppermoroids and more of my snake plants uh, i have more of the snake plants right here did you see how this variegated and i have another one of the whale fin right here but these are the mini form whale fin and this one is one of my beautiful variegated snake plants and i have few in here probably three or four gorgeous okay going out to the other side of the gate on the other side of the backyard is my SBAFF Bartonet and the flowers just I think they just finished flowering on this one this is one of my new ones but I kept it here if you notice there is some sun damage but nevertheless they still produce a lot of flowers huh look how this leaves oh because it's a different plant <laughs> Anyways, oh, well, here you go. There's still flowers. See? Always produce the beautiful flowers. Let me just pull this one out here. And even all the way right here has flowers. Gorgeous. And next to it is my, another one of my Hoya Wayeti Eye. Hoya Wayeti Eye. Okay, guys, on one of the corner, I have the Adansonii, Philodendron Adansonii, and this one is the white form. I put it in a hanging basket, and they just keep growing. And this is on the side of one of my small greenhouse. And then going down, I have this Mother of Millions right here. That grows really really big and gives me a lot of babies and I have one of my alocasia I thought this is the dragon scale but right now I have no idea I'm like totally I thought it was dragon scale what do you think guys leave me a comment and another one of different kind of alocasia it has a silvery color I just don't know what they are called <laughs> And then I have a lot of babies of the jades. These are my jade, from my jade uh, tree. It cut, so I just put it in here and now it's growing. And then it grows more babies from my mother of millions, mother of thousands, and everything else. Right here, I have a peperomia. I believe this is Russo. Another one of my global green. Another one of my Brazil. This one is my Peperomia Hope. That just kept growing beautiful. 
circle leaves with lots of lines i love those this is my philodendron lime green they never change color they stay that color especially if there are more direct indirect light this is one of my cactus from my friend laurie right there isn't that gorgeous and this is coral cactus and on this side this is supposed to be a trifle variegated tradiscantia but it's only produced like the pink white and green if you notice it's still there but not very much in colors and now that it start to fall their leaves started to dry out and then they're gonna come back on spring and then some of my cacti right there and i have more of these gorgeous succulents i just don't remember what its name i have another succulents right there with this beautiful triangularis i believe you called and it also actually has flowers but that is just a volunteer when i go down right here i have one of my orchids growing and it has flowers Ooh, i didn't see that and it's a beautiful maroon color love it that is gorgeous moving on guys on this side is my large Hoya obobata and next to my obobata is another one of my monstera deliciosa this actually came from my friend Rachel awatan she gave me a big plant and i propagate a lot of them and spread all over my yard and they are growing beautifully they the leaves die during the winter but they'll come back during the spring or if you can keep it inside the house they will stay alive but I always keep it outside and i noticed that all the leaves died and then i cut all the dyed leaves and they'll come back again under there is my begonias this is my rex begonias the less light the dark they become if you notice those dark red is because it is hidden on this side is my wing begonias gorgeous gorgeous another one of my monstera deliciosa there you go and more of my begonias right there on the other side of my greenhouse is my jade tree right here that has been kept snapping so i'll just take it and propagate the branch and for some reason one of my mother of millions got into <laughs> dropping all those babies and now it produced a lot of babies too okay guys so just like the other tradiscantia it started to wind down i love this one because it has those hair but right now i don't see any hair i guess because you know they're trying to sleep <laughs> This is my bat plant. I don't have the flowers yet, but look how gorgeous. It's big and snails love to eat those leaves, but I just leave them as far as they're not gonna eat my flowers. And I think their flowers coming soon. I can see the picture. <laughs> now I can see it from the inside right there we'll see and that's leaves didn't <laughs> and then i have some of these gorgeous prayer plants i have the pink green var variety with a red under their gorgeous i have the philodendron hope right there I have more of the Chinese plants right here. But these are the mamas. See how gorgeous and big. And next to it is my another one of my large 
Sequoia obobata. Look how big. Gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. <laughs> Beautiful. And I have more of my Adansonia on that side. This is the narrow form. Next to it is my large form. And another one of my Philodendron silver. Nope, Alocasia. <laughs> That's Alocasia silver. I don't know what's going to happen to it. This is my one of my philodendron. This is pin cushion, philodendron pin cushion, and there's a lot of babies coming. Look at that. We love it. I'm not sure if they're gonna grow big or they're just gonna grow this tiny. I have no idea. So I have one lychee plant that's growing from the seed. And I have these philodendron wind wind imb, and I have peace lily right here. Another wind imb philodendron. So now we're gonna go inside my greenhouse, the very very exploding greenhouse. Right here is one of my Hoya crimson queen. Another one is right there on the back. And I have one right here, the round form. That is also a queen. I have the serpents right there growing, propagating. I have a super silver proniana. This is also a Hoya. I have Alocasia bambino right there. I have another queen on that side. And in the back of it is the princess. Right here in front of me is my Hoya Nelomoroides. And look how many flowers and peduncles they have. She is just gorgeously, smells so good like honey. And the flowers is gorgeous. Look at that. Gorgeous, you guys. Gorgeous. On this side are all my propagation. This is my Myrmacopa. Hoya Myrmacopa. Hoya Cinnamomifolias. Hoya Cinnamomifolias. The Silver Sword. The Silver Dollar. Another one of the... Is that Silver Dollar? I'm not sure, but it's on that silver family. <laughs> And this is the Cinnamomifolia. This is the Grey Ghost. A silver, super silver. This is David Gomingiana. This one is Merrily Eye. This one is Hoya Vanuatuensis. This one is part of the Peperomia family and it is called Puchulata. Hoya, I, I say. Um, Pichuolata Peperomia This one is Ilagurum Balanensis For this one And this one is my Jamonga Silver Sword There you go That is my Silver Sword Another one of my Princess Next to it is my Bella that's my Bella. And right there is another one of SBAFF Fortune. That is also flowering. And the bottom, I have another princess. Okay, so under here, I have a lot more cactuses. Right there. Beautiful. I have my other Cinnamomifolia. My Courtesy Eye. On this side is my Ganongani. And this one is my Michelle. That one is my Rangsan. And that one is my the fuzzy one. I totally forgot the name. And I have some propagating princess and string of hearts variegated. Under I have a lot of fuzzy petiole. 
and different kinds of I don't know I don't remember what is these but those are also in a cactus family I believe and these are silver swords right here is my baby Gagiana these are my baby Gagiana so if you want to buy some just let me know I am here Jacksonville Florida and I will share you some of these I have another Bambinos and um, black velvet pink princess philodendron is right there the babies and the back of these is the Milano philodendron Milano and the back of right there is my different form of I don't remember alocasia I believe and that is my burl marks another one of syndapsis jade satin on that side another one of the burl marks and this one I have packages and oh that's flowering I love those deep pink flowers and then I have string of pearls that I'm propagating and this one I have fungi hoya fungi Hoya Merilliai and the other side is Crinkle 8 and the other side of it is Vendicillata Alba Marginata and they're all started to get real white leaves right there and on this side guys I have the variegated string of hearts a lot of fishtails and I have Australis right there. I have the I'm trying to propagate this beautiful variegated Hindu rope, but I guess We'll see what's gonna happen. I cut it from the big one and start Propagating it for some reason. I think they're dying Okay, okay guys, so that's it for today. I've shown you what is growing in my yard and some some of my plants in my yard there's a lot more going on fall is here so everything is gonna wind down some of them is gonna dry out and hibernate until spring again and i can't wait to see more of my beautiful beautiful plants later on and see what survive and which one i need to plant again so i hope you enjoy our video today thank you for watching until next time maraming salamat po sa inyong panonood hanggang sa muli keep smiling be safe happy watching and planting and god bless bye you guys i will see you in our next video bye hi guys thank you for watching please like subscribe and share our videos until next time thank you bye bye Mm-hmm. Ah.